Hey guys, Eagle here, back with another Pokemon Go Raids video. Today I have for you a little snippet of our Zapdos Raid Day Raid Train. Now this is as this is the same as Articuno Day. We had four people, all level 40. All of us have five or six or 11 and 12 maxed Smackdowns and Anatara, which is we determine the best route to go. Our plan, same as Articuno Day, get in the lobby. Like, first raid, get in lobby. Once lobby ends, battle starts, we drive to next location. We finish raid. Catch. First to catch opens up new lobby. If everyone is caught, we'd go into the next battle. If we get to about 30 seconds, someone isn't caught, either we say, hey, is it good? Okay, we'll restart the lobby, catch it. Is it bad? Either that person continues to catch, or they run from their encounter and we go in. Because we could, we could trio all of these. Quadding them makes it that much better. That's how we did it. We uh, we managed to do 35 raids within the 3 hour mark. Identical to what we did for Articuno Day. We're reconfiguring our, our route a little bit to try and do 36 or 37 in the 3 hour mark. I managed to get 3 shinies total. See the, the whole... You're a passenger, bullcrap, whatever. So we're trying to go for 35 or 36, 37 during Moltres Day. We may end up leaving our town, going to go into a neighboring town, which a, with a much higher gym density, because not to inflate his ego, but Brandon Tan was in the Kansas City metro area and managed to do, I believe, 73 raids. However, if the screenshot was correct, he only caught 10 of them. Which, I couldn't handle that. I caught 32 of my 35. So. 3 shinies, 32 caught, 35 done. Uh, 183 rare candy finished. Or earned. Don't know how many golden rares, probably about 100. Overall, good day. So yeah, enjoy the rest of this little snippet of our Zapdos raid day. And have a good day. I'm back. At this point in the video, you're probably wondering, hey look, he has a shiny. He will catch on the first ball. However. Well, I missed the first ball. Second ball, yeah? Maybe? Maybe. Should work, yeah? Nope. Third ball? Maybe. Just a fluke thing? Maybe. Maybe. Nope. First ball crack out. First no shake. Niantic, if you're watching, this is bullshit. <clears throat> this happened to a lot of us. Even shinies will not have a 100% catch rate. We think it's because we were traveling while catching and or have traveled while battling and are now catching. So it was some sort of speed lock. We thought at this point, first shiny, we thought that it just the catch rates were just screwed up. Because this happened during Articuno Day. The first shiny in the car didn't get caught in the first ball. It got caught in the second ball. So it's still popping out. I don't even know how many... Uh, Mother of Runes, Catherine, one half of Polywag Pikachu, almost didn't get her shiny because of this glitch. She threw, I believe, 11 balls before it actually worked. And she was not happy. And I'm terrible at throwing, I do apologize, but look at how rich color that Zapdos Sprite looks. Slightly different, a little more rich, got those nice bright orange feet. But yeah, let's get back to the music, shall we?
I'm back. This is a hilarious moment. I guess I got too far out of range of the gym. So quickly it's like, wait, shit, what do I do? Can't go backwards because I'm on a one-way road. Guess I gotta, you know, tell the driver to uh, pop a U-turn. Drift around this little corner here. Plus spins the stop. I spun the stop. Plus spun the stop. Got a new quest. Maybe this stop too? Yeah, spin some stops. And quickly tapping the screen and I'm back in with golems. Rip our damage bonus from Mystic, but whatever. Just a little something funny. Nothing's perfect. 